We are here outside the Venezuelan Embassy here in Washington, D.C. Uh, the Embassy Protection Collective is, is still inside. And during the last day, we have seen a lot of harassment, detentions, and one of the persons who has been detained was Ursula, a member of Code Pink's organization. She's with us. Thank you, Ursula, for being uh, today with us. Tell us what happened that day. Uh, two days ago, we were attempting to deliver some food to the Embassy Protection Collective. Um, and we approached the building, many of us carrying fruit and vegetables. And uh, the police had said that no one is stopping you from delivering the food. Well, there's, there was probably a hundred of people in, blocking the entrance. And um, one of the veterans threw a cucumber at the window and he was tackled to the ground by the police. Um, first he had to be taken to the hospital, then he was arrested. In the meantime, um, there was a, a Guaido supporter that was stomping my feet. I was wearing sandals that day and I could tell he was doing it on purpose. And next thing I know, I'm in handcuffs. And I must have yelled at him or tried to push him off me. But the cops, you know, put me in handcuffs and put me in their van for about an hour and a half, not very long. But it was, it seemed very unfair because I was being attacked and being really disrespected. And why was I being, why, the, why was I the person being detained? And during the last days, we've seen that things are getting worse. What's the situation inside the embassy? Uh, two nights ago, I believe it was Wednesday evening, PEPCO, uh, which is the D.C. Um, power authority, came and they turned off the electricity to the building under the orders of Carlos Vecchio, who was uh, appointed by Juan Guaido as the um, ambassador here. So the Secret Service told us that he had ordered um, the power turned off, even though we know that the power bill has been paid through the end of May um, by the Maduro government. Uh, well, a lot of people is saying that they don't know why Americans are uh, aware of what's, uh, about what's the situation in Venezuela. Why it's important for you? As a U.S. citizen, I am outraged and ashamed by the history of U.S. military intervention and support for coups um, just throughout history, whether it's um, in Iran in 1953, um, if you look at Honduras in 2009, um, Chile 73, all of these coups really lead to so much um, suffering and repression and violence. And if the U.S. Um, continues to support um, Juan Guaido and and is willing, if the Trump government is willing to back that support up with military intervention, we know that this is going to be a disaster. It could be a war, the scale of the Vietnam War, if you have world powers um, fighting a proxy war in Venezuela. And so it's up to us, who are American citizens, to stop the U.S. from repeating the mistakes of our history. Thank you so much, Ursula. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Well, we'll be reporting on this and more for Telesur. We don't know if the Venezuelan opposition will take over the embassy with a alliance with the U.S. government. So we'll be reporting on this and more for Telesur. I'm back to you to the studio.